Hey guys, um, sorry I got a bit of a cold so don't mind my voice. Anyway, um, Grave Bear here is going to help me do a tutorial. A lot of people have been asking me for um, some tips, some tricks, make a video to uh, give them a little bit of advantage as I'm an experienced player as well. Uh, I'm going to use Dust because this is one of the most common maps and probably the most fun. Right now it's Team Deathmatch, which doesn't mean a whole lot on this map because usually it's Diffusion but it'll still give you the same idea. Anyway, there's three entry points, um, or three exit points to leave this area. One is straight ahead here, one is there, one is down there. A lot of people choose the quick way, which is that way, which is the dumbest way because the other team has more of an advantage to throw a grenade up here. Um, that way is not too bad. Um, I like this way because it's a sneak attack. Most people decide to go to the left, so I'll take you this way. Anyway, best thing to do is the quickest way. Um, you could either go left here or right. Um, you usually have about the same amount of time to get to the middle here, right around here. This is what I call a POC, a point of contact or point of control. Um, always look for those. But to start off, some people are faster because they use warpies. Um, your best chance is most people will not get to that exit before you and there's big head right there um, so most likely this is going to be your first point of contact um, a good tip that I've always learned and I've held to is keep to your right um, especially on an area where you know a POC is you know they're gonna come up this way that's gonna be your first point of contact so always come to your right to your quickest point of contact and cover that area first. If you don't see anybody here, immediately swing this way. Always go to your right or to the safest spot on the right hand side or to the point of contact and then make sure that area is clear then worry about the, the further distance area. So we're going to come down here. This is the easiest way. Sometimes people will get here so just be cautious. Stick to the wall. If you want to be smart, throw a grenade down and then follow up the grenade on the left hand side of the wall so you don't get any blowback on it. Once again, you know if you're fast, if people are spawning, just getting into the game, your main point of contact is obviously this here area. This is their uh, spawn point. So after you throw a grenade in here, you cover this area. Don't worry about it up there because people are going to have their back to you. So you come around here, you clear this area first, get over on this side, make sure there's nobody there. Then you take a look up here. Nobody there, so you come around here, clear this area first, make sure there's nobody there, and then look up that way. And then, of course, usually you'll find a, uh, somebody slow to spawn or whatever down here, and then just blow them away, and then you go up here. This here is another point of contact, a POC, I'm going to call it, and always throw a grenade in. Don't worry about up there because you can see them there. Come up here, and look, there he is. There's a point of contact here. Generally, there's a diffusion bomb site here. Um, a lot of people try to defend that area, and if you're on the other team, a lot of people try to plant a bomb here. So clear, come up here, clear this area, stick to the wall, take a quick look over here, and then swing over. Clear that area, and then once again, you go up towards your base, another point of contact. All right, we're going to go down the other side. Make it look like... Um, We'll take a right instead. So after you clear the spawn, this here is not the best place to s sit in camp because, once again, they have the uh, the spawning armor, so you got to be careful. All right, right up here is another bomb site, defusal site, usually right about there, and a lot of people will plant a bomb here or defend from there. Another interesting spot when you're first spawning. Just let me get here. is when you come down your starting ramp there's another two ways here one up the center one this way I always immediately come down here throw a grenade or two down here and then continue through here because you have that obviously you have the head start from there to their spawn point so you should get there first once again you should be here first come around the corner clear that area stick against this wall come around the corner and turn clear the area Use grenades, guys. If you're coming through here, just like a lot of these maps, you can throw a grenade over top of the map. So be smart. 
throw a grenade in the middle, right about there. And that'll give you, see the distance? As soon as a person runs that corner, then most likely you hit a person. And then you'll see their health bar through the walls, which is a great advantage, because then you know where they're at. Say so yeah, I hit a guy there, he's coming around here, immediately as soon as I come through this corner, I'm going to start firing. Because I know exactly where they're at. A lot of noobs will camp down here. That's what those are for. Anyway, um, <laughs> he's obviously playing. Here's a, here's, here's a little tip for you guys. If you want to spawn camp and be a lame out, go in here. Stick on this wall, because if you go down there, you're screwed. You really have no options. So basically, that's, um, that's dust. It's a few tips. If you want to be a complete arsehole, just, uh, throw a couple grenades down there. Maybe they get somebody coming out of a spawn. And as for here, this is a good spot to camp right here when you plant the bomb. So you get a full view of everything. Just be careful. Most people stay in here, but that's where people first look. Where people first look on this edge. That's why you stay here, because most people will look on that side. This is from experience from playing Counter-Strike for years. Um, that's about it for this map, guys. Anyway, um, if you have any more questions or tips, you need to get answers, just give me a shout. Alright, but Alright, guys, back again on the dust map. Um, I'll show you from this side of things. This is where you usually start. Some people go up there and come around the corner and such. Um, this here's not a bad way. Once again, the other team will beat you to that doorway. So be cautious. When you come around this corner, be ready to fire at somebody through the doorway, or do what I do. When you come up here, toss a grenade or two out. Uh, I missed that one, but as soon as you come around here, same thing. Check that side first, and then straight ahead. Check that side, check that side, and then there. Sometimes you'll find somebody sitting there at the spawn, AFK or wherever, that's fine. And then you come down here, check that side first, check down there, so you still have a little bit of leeway there, quick, and there you go, come back down here. You can go all the way around the map, but I don't suggest that. My suggestion for starting this map is, this is how I always start the map. I come through here, I toss a bunch of grenades up, and that goes all the way in. That'll give you some kills. Sometimes you see people walking up there, you can throw a grenade. After you throw your two grenades up there or whatever, you can throw another grenade up there and then turn up. Usually, after you throw grenades, just take a quick look back, see if you see any health bears, and then you come up here. This here's the this here's generally the main point of contact there and that ramp back there. But um, this here area, just be careful when you come up here. Most people throw grenades in. So stay down around here for a second and then stand up here listen for footsteps. That's the biggest tell. If you don't hear anything, whip around the corner. Once again, throw a grenade in. Not too many people hide on that side. They figure that they've got the blocks here, they got coverage. So if you come up this ramp, take a quick look this way. Obviously, look up the center first. Then look this way. And then over here, automatically fire. Um, he obviously shot that block out. That's a quick way to get up this map. And then once again, you're at their spawn. <clears throat> we'll go back down to the spawn point. This here, just keep this in mind, folks. This is your main area of contact. On this side of things, being a counter-terrorist. And then on this, that's another point of contact. Whip a grenade up, remember. Always throw grenades. It gives you what I call distance. It'll scare off the other people, or if you hit them, then you have an idea where they're at. It's almost like a giant heartbeat sensor. And, you know, you come up this ramp, and you're always going to beat the person to this, this area from down there. So this here is going to be your area. The point of contact, once again, is in there, so be careful when you're coming up here. Don't worry about over here, because most people will camp here, or around here or something. Don't worry about it. Because when you're coming up here, they can't see you right away. If you can't see them, they can't see you. So as soon as you enter a place like this, hold your walk button. You're not making any sounds. Now you're making sounds. 
So when you come up here, just slowly walk around the corner. Be careful of those grenades. Most times the grenades will come right about there. From back here, they shouldn't hit you unless you have my grenades. Max radius, but don't worry about it. Then come around here. Clear that area. Remember, we're going to come up this way as well. Main, main area, clear it. Come around here, clear it. Clear it. And good to go. Anyway, I'm out. This is the end of dust for me. Alright, take care.